All right, this is another little video showing um, the three Logan's Run flame pistol replicas that I have here. Uh, these, of course, are uh, uh, more of an interpretation of the uh, flame gun and not so much an exact replica. And during my research of the flame guns themselves, I, I know that there are um, currently metal ones available. There are many of those uh, out there, and they are closer to the, the real functioning uh, prop that existed. Uh, there are, of course, the 3D printed and resin uh, version, uh, resin kits. The 3D printed ones are available uh, on eBay. Uh, there are many, many, many of those out there now currently. Uh, so basically, if you're looking to get a uh, 3D printed uh, and painted uh, Logan's Run pistol, I think eBay would be the, uh, the way to go. Uh, these three here, these are different in that uh, I uh, created and designed these uh, uh, on my uh, computer. Uh, basically, of course, they're to uh, look like the Logan's Run pistol, but internally they are uh, completely different than each other. So these are uh, virtually one-of-a-kind design, and these are the only ones uh, that are made from those designs. Um, the top one here, um, I'll go ahead and show that one first. This one is essentially a, um, an interpretation of the flame gun. You can see on both sides. But the difference in this one uh, than the ones that are available now, uh, some of the 3D printed ones uh, are non-functional and some actually uh, have an LED located in the front. Uh, this version here not only has four LEDs there up front, but it also has uh, a simulated uh, glow plug. So this particular one looks to have a glow plug, and when you pull the trigger, it does indeed light the four uh, blue LEDs there uh, in the uh, suppressor. So also, what's unique about it is it shoots rubber bands. So this particular one has the means to shoot uh, rubber bands as well as uh, light LEDs. So I'm going to go ahead and show that to you here. I'm going to shoot it up front there. Bam, right there, and you can actually... Uh, you don't know if you notice the rubber band, but it also has the four super bright, high bright LEDs, as well as the glow plug. So back here you see the lever that moves, that releases the rubber band, and so there you go. This one uh, is uh, unique uh, in itself in what it does, and so we look at this one, the next one. This one is also very different than the first one. Uh, it has a trigger here and a stopper here in the back. Uh, this particular one actually is a water pistol. So it does indeed shoot water. It's, uh, it's hollow and it is somewhat uh, uh, water, uh, it doesn't leak, it's water resistant uh, somewhat. Um, but uh, basically the switch here is non-functional but it is a, an actual toggle switch that can be flipped. Uh, so the way this works is you fill the hole back here with water which fills up the handle, the grip, and then you cork it off there and then when you pull on the trigger several times it primes it and it will squirt water. Okay, so there we are, a Logan's Run water pistol. Okay, so that's, uh, that's that one. And now the final one, this one is different and it's really different and that uh, this 3D printed version does uh, shoot flame as well. So we've got the gas chamber here, we've got the gas release valve there, and up front we have the arc. Uh, this is no longer needs a glow plug, but it uses uh, an arcing system, a spark. So I don't know if you can see it there, but we have a spark in front right there, where gas output, and of course the spark in each of the four, four slots. So we're going to go ahead and test it here and show you how it works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ignite the flame with the pistol not in view, but you will be able to see it hopefully in the window there. Uh, the intent is to kind of see the flame, the arc flaming uh, in the reflection rather than in the camera. So I'm going to pause it here for just a second and I'm going to reduce the, uh, the uh, settings here. So let me pause it here. Alright, so what I did is I readjusted the, uh, 
the darkness of the, the camera so that it doesn't overpower it with the flame. So we're going to go ahead and move the, the pistol back here out of camera shot. And we're going to go ahead and ignite it. You can kind of see the reflection there. So we're going to give this uh, a shot here. So I'm going to press the arc and then ignite the, the flame. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know if you saw that in the, in the window, but it uh, worked pretty good. Uh, here we go again. We're going to try a quick shot here. Let's turn it sideways maybe, maybe like this. All right, yeah, you can see uh, the fifth flame come out the front as well as the four flames uh, out each nozzle. So let's try this again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it here again. Let's back it up a little bit. Okay, yeah, you get the four flames including the fifth one uh, out the tip right there. So I think it uh, works pretty well. So this is... Uh, I guess uh, the only one in existence. This is a 3D printed uh, flame gun, working flame gun. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to show that to you here. And we're going to try it again. We're going to pull the arc and we're going to shoot the flame. Here we go. Okay, it works perfect. I can see four flames, including the fifth one out the tip. So we're going to try it again here. I'm going to let the, the gas build up a little bit in the chamber so we can get a decent, a decent shot out of it. So I'm going to pause here for a second. Okay, uh, I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and shoot it sideways so you can kind of hopefully see the flame out the tip as well as the flames from the four ports there. So we're going to start the arc and shoot the pistol here. I'm going to back it up a little so we don't blow out the camera lens so much. So here you can see it in the reflection there. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. Yep, I saw it great here on this end. It worked really well. So, and I only have a small load of uh, CC in there, so I don't actually have the full load that I normally would put in there, because I wasn't sure how the pistol would actually function, but it appears to be uh, working great. So we're going to try it again, back it out of camera view here just a little bit, and shoot it again. Yep, it works great. Alright, so anyway, there we are. I just wanted to share that with you, and hope you enjoy the update and my builds. But uh, yeah, we've got the LED rubber band version, we got the squirt gun version, and of course the 3D printed flaming version.